From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Dave DeForest reporting. Japanese leader expresses anger at the U.S. president. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe told U.S. President Barack Obama of his country's profound resentment over a former U.S. Marine's involvement in the killing of a Japanese woman outside an American military base. Mr. Abe made the remarks at a news conference after discussing the slaying with Mr. Obama in a meeting before the G7 summit. Mr. Obama said he expressed his sincerest condolences. We did discuss uh, the tragedy that took place in Okinawa, and I extended my sincerest condolences and deepest regrets. The two leaders discussed the incident just days after Japanese authorities arrested Kenneth Franklin Shinzato, a 32-year-old former U.S. Marine who said they, who they say confessed to stabbing and strangling the woman. A Ukrainian pilot held in Russian custody has been released. Nadia Savchenka arrived in Kiev on Wednesday after spending nearly two years in a Russian prison. She was greeted as a hero and thanked her countrymen for her release. The 35-year-old Army helicopter pilot was released as part of an apparent prisoner exchange with Russia. Afghanistan's Taliban says Malawi Haibatullah uh, Akunzada has been appointed its new chief following the death of Mullah Akhtar Mansur. The Taliban also formally confirmed that Mansur was killed in a U.S. drone attack last week. The new Taliban leader was a deputy to Mansur along with Sirahuddin Haqqani, the leader of the Haqqani Network. This is VOA News. The United Nations says nearly three million people in drought-stricken Zimbabwe are going hungry. Lisa Schlein takes a look. UN resident coordinator for Zimbabwe, Bisho Parajuli, says the impact of little rain and low crop yields following two years of drought is painfully visible in Matabele land and other dry lands. We could really see the desperation and the severity of the situation. A few weeks ago, the United Nations appealed for $360 million to provide life-saving assistance for more than 3 million people. The priority needs are for food, water, health, nutrition, sanitation, and protection. Lisa Schlein, Geneva. A leaked U.S. State Department Inspector General's report finds Hillary Clinton and previous secretaries of state failed to follow guidelines to avoid security risks when using personal emails for official business. The report was to be released Thursday, but State Department officials hastily called a news conference Wednesday to answer reporters' questions about the findings after they were leaked. Senior officials said there was no evidence Clinton sought approval to use her personal email account to conduct official business, which she was obligated to do. The head of the U.S. Transportation Security Administration admits it's going to be a difficult summer for air travelers. Peter Neffinger told a congressional hearing Wednesday that the agency is taking several steps to ease the congestion currently plaguing the nation's airports. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has expanded his coalition government. Mr. Netanyahu signed the coalition agreement in the Knesset with his new partner, nationalist Avigdor Lieberman of the Israel Betanu Party. Lieberman is a polarizing figure in Israeli politics and takes a hard line on relations with the Palestinians. He will serve as the new defense minister, playing an influential role in the key policy decisions related to security. Eurozone finance ministers say they have reached a major breakthrough in negotiations in the latest debt relief arrangement for Greece after talks in Brussels Tuesday night. The International Monetary Fund 
had demanded a reduction in Greece's debt burden as a condition for further IMF bailout funds. In U.S. political news, a New Mexico rally for presumptive Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump was disrupted Tuesday evening by demonstrators who broke through barricades. Dozens of police officers, many on horseback, repeatedly warned protesters to stay away from the sidewalk in front of the rally venue. Bottles and rocks were reportedly thrown. A few protesters made it inside the rally, repeatedly interrupting Trump's speech. From the VOA News Center in Washington, I'm Dave DeForest. That's the latest world news from VOA.